The for tonight basically is I and a couple of other folks are going to make some presentations uh, regarding the air rights issue, what our concerns are about it, what our thoughts are about it, what we think can be done about it, what we think we need to find out about it, and then we're going to open it up to the floor for questions, discussion, feedback, input. We're going to try to keep that moving quickly because we want to give everybody a chance. Um, this is not the last conversation we're going to be having about this issue, so don't feel as though everything you've ever thought about it you need to get out tonight, um, but uh, it's definitely going to be important an important part of what we do here uh, tonight. So, um, as folks know, this uh, legislation that the legislation that we're talking about here tonight is actually on the governor's desk right now. Uh, it's a coincidence of timing. We didn't know it was going to be on the governor's desk the, as we were doing the town hall meeting, and we've gotten conflicting reports about whether the deadline for the signature is tonight or tomorrow night, but either way, we are urging people, um, everybody has this on their, uh, the handout that they received, this is the contact information for the governor. Um, if you call the number after hours, you're just going to get a recording, there's no opportunity to leave a message. Please take this home with you. You can call the governor's office tomorrow morning, assuming he is not signed by then, and you can give him whatever your thoughts are about the legislation. You can also, right now, with your iPhone, your iPad, or whatever you have, or when you go home with your computer, you can log on to that uh, website. It's one of those contact forms, and you can tell the governor your thoughts about the legislation. We strongly, strongly encourage you to do that. Uh, now, tonight's forum is not built around whether or not the governor is going to sign the legislation or not. If he doesn't sign it, it still becomes law. It's a theoretical possibility. He could veto it. If he does, the legislature has the, has the opportunity to then send it back to him. What we mostly want to focus on tonight is talking about if the legislation does become law, what we need to do about it, what it will do, what the questions are that we need answered, and how we can make sure we protect our waterfront. If it turns out the governor vetoes the legislation and it does not get re um, uh, passed by the legislature, or at least this provision of it doesn't, then we've got a lot of celebrating to do. But we need to make sure that we plan for the very good possibility that that's not going to be the case and start working now towards dealing with what may be a vastly changed